Welcome back to Great Day. For a moment, think about what you wear or what you wore to work. Now, some of you had a uniform. Others had what you call a business uniform. Slacks, a blouse, maybe a skirt, a blazer. But the world, I don't know if you've noticed, it's gotten more casual these days, and so has the workplace. So it begs the question, what is professional dress etiquette? And on this casual Friday here at Channel 4, we will find out in our Get Nice with Nancy segment. We are always happy to have the founder of Polished, Nancy Schnobelin Ims with us. Good morning to you, Nancy. Good morning, Laura. And I love how you said on this casual Friday, like you're, you're you know, stipulating that you're not dressed perfectly, which you are, you always are. Well, I was very worried knowing this segment was coming <laughs> up this week, but I I'm glad you approved. Yes. But, but it is a question. So many people have gone casual and it's kind of translating into the office setting too. Right, and that, that's hard sometimes to distinguish what is business casual mm -hmm. today. Uh, it's a question I get asked all the time. So what I like to say is think of your professional dress and dress it down a bit. In other words, if you're, if you, if you, casual day is not you know a suit or a blazer mm -hmm. uh, suit and tie then just wear just a blazer and a okay. collared shirt or as Damien and Matt they're very professionally dressed you know they're it's casual Friday mm -hmm. dress dress it down a notch don't dress down your casual wear if you know what I'm saying okay you know don't don't um, you know be mindful of that professional code but dress down a bit but are you noticing some businesses flat out getting rid of a dress code? Yeah, well, and that's, I wouldn't say they're necessarily getting rid of a dress code. Okay. I think they're just relaxing it more, mm -hmm. right? Because we are, since the pandemic, and I don't see this changing, people are not buttoning up with suits and ties mm -hmm. and women in suits. We want to obviously express our personalities, but do it in a way that fits with the culture of the of the business organization. I mentioned a uniform earlier. My husband works at a hospital. Mm -hmm. He wears scrubs every single day. It makes getting ready really, really easy for yes, him. Yes. Mine is more business. So what does the idea of dress for success look like in 2023? in this weird changing world. And beyond, yes, mm -hmm. yes. So again, I don't see us going, you know, to that more formal uh, uh, look that we had in the 60s, 70s, mm -hmm. and 80s. Although it's all about your image. It's all about your how how the company, you represent the company and your personal image. Mm -hmm. So dress, for, dress the role, right? You were saying with your husband and his medical scrubs. If you think about it, we all have uniforms. Mm -hmm. uh, whether you're a pilot, whether you are in the military, whether you are, uh, you know, a healthcare worker, as you were mentioning with Mark, whether you are, you know, in construction, we all have uniforms. Mm -hmm. So project that image and do it in a way that shows respect to yourself and to the organization. We did not mention accessories, but one accessory you should always have wherever you are working is a free one a smile on your face. You're never fully dressed without a smile. I like that. Yes. Good advice. Yes. We are going to post this segment on our website, kmov.com slash great day following the show. Back over to the smiling guys. Oh.